Hi. Today we have a chance to check new kit from Ukrainian company Miniart. As you can see, uh, this time plastic copies, uh, passenger bus, gas, all 330 in 135 scale. So box uh, is not that big here, you can see comparison with my hand. And also it's written here that kit consists out of 435 parts, which is quite impressive number for this model. I mean, no, it's just a simple bus, so we can guess maybe there is some internal detailization included. Uh, there is nothing interesting on the sides, maybe uh, just this marking option, which is uh, printed on one of the sides. So let's open the box. That's the top opening box. And that's what we see inside. Plenty of the sprues, obviously, assembly manual, and that's pretty much all. So just give me a second to open this plastic bag. And here we are. Okay, so first I guess it would be better to show all grey plastic sprues. And then we would move on to small components. Here you can see first sprue. Uh, this one contains bus roof, which is molded as a one piece part. Also we have here doors. Note here that we have spe special holes for the windows and front side and some other external elements. Detailization is quite nice. Note that inside roof we have this molding pins, so some modders would like to polish them. Other than that, I don't see any problems, and uh, plastic itself is quite sturdy, so I guess. It should be easy to build your bus. Then we have uh, one, two, three, four similar sprues. These are obviously dedicated to the wheel parts. Here you can see them. Uh, so each wheel would be assembled from those rings. And there are seven of them. And note that rims are molded separately. And here are other parts. All those four sprues contain absolutely identical set of parts. Uh, then we have front fenders, uh, front side fenders molded separately as a separate complex shaped parts, which is quite nice. And uh, note that the attachment points are also quite thin, so it should be easy to separate those from the sprue. And I hope that those would fit without any extra problems. Here we have more of side fenders, as you can see they are molded on the separate spruce once again. And again, these are quite nicely uh, shaped parts, which should be easy to apply on your model. Here we have more of small parts. Then we have a big, uh, bit bigger sprue with uh, side panels, rear side panels and the bottom panel for the bus. Next are uh, small sprues with suspension parts, here you can see them. And even headlamp is also placed here. This one is absolutely identical to the previous one. Then we have another small sprue with more small, small parts. Two more identical sprues. I guess this would go inside because these are obviously look like uh, seats passenger seats. Uh, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely identical sprues. Here you can see them all. Uh, this would be used for the passenger seats. As you can see each seat would be assembled from several parts and here you can see that there are eight of them. 
Next we have uh, two sprues connected with each other. Uh, here we have a bonnet, roof and some minor external parts for the bus. Then we have various uh, suspension parts and mechanical parts. Again, molding quality is very impressive. And the last sprue contains engine parts, here you can see them. And some other uh, technical parts. For example, here we have bonnet, which can be positioned open. And plenty of tiny small parts, even steering wheel is molded almost in center of the sprue. Then we have a uh, small plastic bag in which you would find transparent parts and decal sheet. So decal uh, sheet is not that big. Here we have various symbols, number plates for several marking options. We would see them uh, in the assembly menu. And here are transparent parts for the side windows, headlamps and some other elements. As you can see, those are absolutely identical. And small PE thread should add a bit more detailization to your model uh, by replicating some of the elements which can be copied in plastic. Okay, and last but not the least is assembly manual which is printed in a typical fashion for the mini art. So we have gloss paper uh, brochure printed in color. Here we have some features of the kit mentioned. Uh, then we have, uh, we can notice here that the decal sheet contains um, symbols for the eight options. So we have four variants of the bus from 1938 and four variants of the bus from 1945. Uh, we have here some of the marking guides. Then comes assembly, uh, I mean parts map, and then assembly process starts. Which contains, I mean consists out of 46 uh, different assembly steps, and then you have uh, your bus ready. And here we have more of the marking guides. Note that covers are and profiles were created in a cooperation with Amomic. And so paint numbers are written in MIG uh, paint designations. So uh, that's all for this video review, but don't forget to check full review article on our website. And as usual, I would like to advise you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. See you in the next video.